Okay, pretty good. So we have three mineral species reactions here. And then we move to mineral reaction data. All right. Yeah, mineral reaction data. And we will add reaction parameters in the window. And yeah, I will expand this. Can I? All right. And we also need to check this one, resistance factor calculation, open the drop down menu, and we are going to select calculated with Kozeny Karman formula. And the formula's exponent value by default is three. All right, this is for the permeability variation due to porosity change because of, you know, mineral precipitation. Okay, so now let's input the data. Mineral reaction, we have three reactions and mineral molecular weight, internal, mineral mass density, internal and kilogram per meter cube. Now, reactive surface area in meter square per meter cube. We are going to input 88 for anorthite, 88 for calcite, and 17,600 for the you know, for the colonite. Move to the right side. Now for logarithmic rate constant at reference temperature, minus 12, minus 8.79588, minus 13. And then for the activation energy for the reaction, This one, and then for this one, 41,870, 6276260. And then for the reference temperature, we prefer selecting 25 degrees centigrade. And leave others as per default. Okay, and then we move to the next step, aqueous phase models data. And we select B dot model for the aqueous phase activity model. Hopefully later on we can talk about this B dot model. All right. And then for the almost there, I think. Not this one. We will navigate to the component selection properties node and we, we will choose aqueous phase. So, okay, so I think we can finish this one first. Click on OK. And now let's find, wait a minute, for the component, this one. I have difficulties in finding this one, component selection properties. And then let's go to, yeah, here we have the component, CO2 and methane. Go to aqueous phase and we will specify the NaCl concentration and it's going to be 0 0.1, but we will change the unit. The unit is molality, mole of the, you know, this one, mole of the salt, NaCl per kilogram of the water, H2O. We will maintain the harvest method. And then I think pretty much that's all. Okay. And a little bit short note for the salinity calculation. The user can choose the option for calculation of salinity using Cl minus and Na plus ions concentration, or we can also use a constant salinity, all right? And in this case, we will use constant salinity of course, with this, with this value, 0 0.1, in terms of molality. But you can also select or you can prefer select uh, performing the calculation for the salinity by considering the ions of Cl- and the Na+, the concentration of the ions. Okay. So far, so good. Now we will go back to the CMG gem EOS model. And from here, again, select gem reaction and 
we will navigate to the aqueous phase model phase aqueous phase models data here we select use constant salinity 0 0.1 and we will enter here aqueous phase threshold threshold mole fractions we can read the description mineral precipitation or dissolution rates will be set to zero if the mole fraction of the gaseous component in the aqueous phase is less than the specified threshold value okay and we will select 0 0.0001 for the co2 and uh, for ch4 it really doesn't matter because ch4 remember in our case is the trace component so you can just input one that doesn't matter for the sake of simplicity we use value of one there okay so again this is the aqueous phase threshold mole fractions this is important because you know the dissolution or precipitation rate will be set to zero if the mole fraction of the component in the aqueous phase is less than the specified threshold value. So if the gaseous component or the mole fraction of the CO2, again, if the mole fraction of the CO2 is below this value, the precipitation will be considered zero rate. Okay, because, you know, the reaction rate, precipitation rate, dissolution rate will be determined by the mole fraction by the concentration of that component okay so that's why the threshold is important because now we are telling the software if the mole fraction is very 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 small then you can consider the reaction with the reaction rate for that component will be you know will be zero okay and again ch4 is stress component so whatever the mole fraction below one it will be considered zero rate okay so we can click okay now and save and we are done okay we are done in this video and in the next video as usual we will continue with the jam and so on and so forth okay but wait a minute yeah we will not end until we, of course, as usual, click on run. Okay, so the calculation is very quick, very fast. And now we have the result. Okay, here we have the result. And we go to our folder and we will find the dot gem of our WinProp. Okay, so now we are back in our folder. And as you can see, when we click on run in the WinProp, we can produce this .gem file. This gem file, you know, contains a very important keyword that we will use in our .dat for the builder to continue our modeling. Okay, but I think regarding the WinProp job, it's almost finished. So we can close this video, all right? So I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next episode where we will continue our modeling to finalize the mineral trapping. Okay, see you again. Thank you.